Speculation, exaggeration, propaganda and lies. Titanic has inspired many tall tales, but what's really true and what's not? I'm Owen McDermott and here's your lowdown on my top 10 Titanic legends. All aboard! At number 10. Bruce Ismay, or Brute Ismay as the papers called him, owner of the infamous White Star Line, urged Captain Smith to go faster, even through an ice field, in order to break the transatlantic record. <laughs> However, if that was true, why weren't all the boilers lit? Anchors away, it's number nine. The band continued playing until the very last moment. Who can hold on to a cello whilst lurched at 45 degrees? And play it! Didn't think so. And making a splash at number eight, another ship, the SS Californian, stood by, did nothing, and watched Titanic sink. Fact or fiction? Well, we still don't know. Some people claim that a Norwegian ship, the Samson, was only five miles away. They say the ship saw Titanic's distress rockets, but figured it was the authorities onto them and their illegal cache of seal pelts, so they made a hasty getaway. Oops. Waiting in at number seven, rich men and poor men all went down side by side. Wish it were so, but the stats tell us differently. Nearly two thirds of first class men survived, but only one quarter of third class men. Man overboard at number six. Men escaped in lifeboats by dressing as women. Yes! A young Irish steerage passenger, Daniel Buckley, admitted that when officers told men to get out of his lifeboat, he started crying, so a woman threw a shawl over him and told him to stay. So it's kind of true. Diving in at five. A Belfast shipyard worker was accidentally sealed into Titanic's hull during construction. Of course not. But it was a good story to get young gullible Irish apprentices going. And with the wind at her sails at four, Captain Smith was a hero because he went down with his ship. Maybe, but wouldn't a hero slow his ship down when he got the ice warnings? And why would a hero allow lifeboats to leave half full? And belly flopping in at number three, it's the No Pope legend. Now after the disaster, rumor had it that the whole number of Titanic, if held upside down, in a mirror, would spell the words, No Pope. Can you see it? There you go, that's pretty impressive or it would be if Titanic's hull number wasn't 401 and making a swim for it at number two. There was an enormous hoard of gold on board and it's yet to be recovered. No evidence for this one just yet, but the Bank of England records will put this one to rest one way or the other when they're opened in 2012. And steaming ahead to number one. A man survived the cold of the Atlantic because he was drunk. It's true. Now, after drinking an um, disputed amount of whiskey, Titanic's chief baker stepped off Titanic at the very last minute and paddled around in the freezing cold for over an hour and a half. <sighs> Before being pulled onto a lifeboat. Nice story. But science tells us that alcohol just makes us think our body is warmer. Got a lifeboat to catch. That's all, folks.